Europe loses about um, 10,000 people every year to uh, drug addiction, to Afghan narcotics. NATO forces in Afghanistan during the past six, seven years since uh, the attack in 2001 have lost a grand total of 1,800 soldiers. There is a large number of insurgent groups uh, in Turkmenistan, in Uzbekistan, Fergana Valley, generally speaking, and so forth, uh, we are, uh, that are benefiting uh, from the trade. And they are part of the problem and they are deriving uh, revenues which uh, could be very significant in the future in terms of the threat of instability in Central Asia. gram of uh, heroin uh, can be purchased on the streets of, of Kabul, generally in Afghanistan, at two, three dollars, one gram. Once it reaches the destination market, namely Europe, Moscow or Paris or London or Rome, it could be anywhere between 70 and 100 dollars. <laughs> This is a bit paradoxical because one would assume that the richer countries, the consuming nations, were better of countries also in terms of law enforcement would seize a greater percentage of opium. This is actually not happening. We believe that greater attention should be paid to enhancing security, including police and law enforcement ability in Afghanistan. At the moment, Afghanistan seizes only something like 2% of the drugs it produces. <laughs> We should uh, re be reminded of the great uh, importance of promoting prevention against drug addiction, treatment of drug addicts, so that we reduce not only the number of soldiers who died wherever, especially in Afghanistan, but certainly also the number of drug addicts who are dying on our streets.